Hi, my dear friends. How are you doing? So finally, the day is here where we will be starting our recording for paper number six, IBS. So all of us are here. So sir, just want to say hi to hi. my Chinmay sir hi. and Devendra sir. Hi. So guys, so the reason, first of all, why there was a slight delay in the classes was because we were really waiting for the CA Institute to release the case studies and the material. If you go to the uh, you know Institute website, there are two things. One it says module one. It says it's coming soon. When it's coming, God only knows, so you leave that. The next is the case studies. Eight case studies have been released, so we have studied that thoroughly to understand what type of questions may come. This, apart from that, we also have a compendium of the previous years and some from other sources we have collected few case studies. Based off of that, we are going to be discussing. So initially, we are going to record whatever case studies that the institute has given for the May and November 24 examinations for this paper number six. And we did an initial analysis, and there we understood that since paper number 6 is in group number 2, which has DT and IDT, predominantly the questions are coming from DT and IDT. Of course, there are questions from FR, there are questions from AFM, very, very few, very, very few questions from auditing. And uh, as far as SCMP is concerned, till now, at least in the case studies that we have seen, there is almost uh, nothing uh, from SCMP. But nevertheless, of course, it will be there in the case studies going ahead. So there are a few doubts, queries, etc., which uh, we have been speaking to students. Tarun sir will throw more light on that with respect to what queries that genuine questions that the students have and how we are going to address. And all of us are going to address uh, how exactly to prepare for this uh, subject and how to follow our classes. So this is an interactive session. Over to you, Tarun sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, hello, friends. Welcome you all for this paper six uh, IBS discussion. So, already we posted a demo video as to how it is going to be like, but uh, there was a considerable gap. So, because already uh, Punarva sir has explained the reason, and uh, I'm also having uh, Chinmay sir with me. So, some of the students over the past, when I have interacted with him, with them, so they said, uh, sir, we studied group one long back. And now only we are appearing for group two in the new syllabus. And as we are forced by the ICI to convert from November 23 to May 24 in news weather, so we don't have the travel attendance. So due to that reason, so some of the questions what students have asked me, so rather than me myself completely answering it, so I wanted to ask these two gentlemen over here. So first questions are two of us. So like last, like somewhere uh, two attempts before or three attempts before, they have appeared to group one. Yes, sir. They completed our uh, group one. And now, because of some reasons, they are appearing in the May 2024 new syllabus. That to in IBS, they have to. Right. And as we all know that in IBS, we have law also. So now, what is that the student should do? Yes, sir. So, uh, well, well, it's a very valid uh, point, sir, and which the students have raised. So, as far as law is concerned, my dear friends, uh, we will be uploading a marathon video which is a thorough revision of all the concepts. See, your institute does not expect you to know everything, but everything of everything, but you should know something of all the subjects for sure. And all the important concepts should be, you should definitely know before writing this particular paper. So, validly, you would have written your first group many years ago. Some of them have written many years ago, actually, or many months ago. So, the thing is, yes, so we will be uploading. As far as law and direct access are concerned, I would be uploading uh, in the Google Drive itself, marathon sessions. It will be around 10 to 15 hours video. If you just go through that, that is more than sufficient to uh, attend this paper because that is a revisionary thing which you need to attend and then you can uh, you know, watch the case studies, no problem. A few case studies you can just watch initially just to get a feel of it and then you can go back to the revision videos and do. So, as far as law and direct studies are concerned, that will be handled. All the thing, if you see, wherever these uh, concepts, very, very few concepts are asked, so that's why all the important concepts will be, you know, uh, recording one more short video, which will cover all the important areas of auditing, which may be asked in the IBS exam. Apart from that, whenever we are doing the classes anyway, when we are doing the sessions, we will be discussing a certain auditing concept. So those are related to law, DT and uh, auditing. Sir, what about IDT, sir? Yes, sir. IDT so, and Yes, guys, so therefore you got your answer, like uh, in this Google Drive itself, so there will be a separate folder for revision. In that revision, so there will be subject wise folders. In that, there will be revisionary video of Unarva search for law, TT, and all to some extent important concepts. Then, my IDT, so will also be there as a separate folder. 
and uh, even uh, SCMP also they can be from me. So what I have seen uh, in any case studies, SCMP we don't have any question to. Correct, correct. But maybe it yeah. could come. So those related concepts we will definitely do the revision and upgrade it in the same way. Yes. Sir. And over to Chinmay sir, yes sir, Chinmay sir, the same concern they have for for the second because it comes in group two. See if the student is in uh, group two, if he is writing, no issue, sir. Because DT is preparing, IDT is preparing, so naturally IBS it will come. But group one they would have studied like two years, three years before also. Now what is that they need to do for FR and SFR? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So you are talking about two years, two weeks, I mean uh, two months or whatever before. Remember that FR is paper one, and we are discussing about paper six. So it's first paper to last paper itself is a long journey. Because the habit of students generally is, once you go to the exam hall, you write in and you forget it. Then you move right. to, it's like have a breakup and move on in life. But no longer you have the choice that uh, you need to know at least a little bit of pieces of all the subjects. And there's a common saying that if you say, I know everything, it actually means you know nothing. So when we talk about paper six, is it possible to know all the remaining subject 100%? Practically, we have to understand the answer is no. So, what we have to prepare in a way in which it is practical enough and realistic enough so that you know the essence of all the subject Correct. and you can present it in a holistic manner. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as far as the FR is concerned, you know, it is typically completely full of one side will say consolidation, the other side I will say it is just the index according standards. So that's the essence if you are able to follow, of course revision videos we will be uploading it, mm -hmm. but anyway we will share the chart. So if you can just look at those charts, have a quick uh, revision of it and in the if you have been the consultation if you have to follow, your so FR is taken away. As far as AFM is concerned, they are uh, technical heavy subjects, you need to follow the revision videos more carefully, but again. Uh, you are not required to solve the problems on like derivatives or forex for you to write the paper six. It is not required. Okay. So you should know. Okay, mutual funds means okay, these terms will come. Basically, the concepts. Yes. We'll talk about that. Okay. So as 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 much as possible, if you have a basic idea, you can comfortably handle the FR AFM part in paper six. Super. So that's what guys. So like uh, all the subjects, wherein FR, SFM. Law group one, including uh, the auditing. So, revision videos will be there, but auditing only the concept wise videos. And in group two, anyhow, you are preparing for DT, IDT. So, you will be learning in depth all the uh, chapters in that. But even for that, also, we will be uploading the revision. So, for DT and IDT, as well as for the SCMP, few concepts. So, the revision videos will be uploaded. So, that's the information about the revision for all the seven subjects now let's come to this uh, timeline so we need to commit as to the timeline so what is the feeling sir like uh, the students have another doubt like should we watch the revision first and then listen to the case study discussion or can we listen to the case study discussion and then do the revision so they need uh, some light on that so you can you can yeah so what i would recommend students is i Presumably, assume like uh, you can uh, differ with me that you have some decent idea of all the remaining subjects. Then only this subject even you should even attempt it after covering the basic details. So uh, I would recommend first you go through the revision materials of whatever we share. If you are able to have a, some sort of confidence in that, yes, I am able to find that these areas are familiar. Again, I use the word familiar. It does not mean you need to know every section by section or uh, problem by problem. So, if you have got some sort of confidence by reading the revision material, I would say you are ready for paper 6. But when you read that revision material, if you feel that okay, you lack uh, quite a few knowledge there, then I would recommend watch the revision videos, uh, whichever the subject you want. Again, I am stressing on that because this is a culmination of many subjects. So, don't expect to watch each and every question revision videos and then come to paper 6. So, step 1, watch the, I mean, read the revision material. Step 2, identify the areas where you feel you are lacking. Watch those videos and then you come to this because uh, when we cover topics, we will not be just reading question and answer. 
you will be talking about those areas as well. So yes. that itself is a revision for you. Correct. Right. So follow these things. Don't follow one approach does not suit for all. So choose which is uh, more yeah. suitable for you. So I will I'll put it in a simple way, sir. Let us divide this into two. Group 2, group 1. Group 2, guys, you please complete your DT lectures, IDT lectures. Anyhow, you are appearing for group 2. You have to read these two subjects. Right. So, please complete DT. So, you can watch Punarva sir's regular batch or exam oriented batch, whatever it is. Same way, IDT, my regular batch, exam oriented batch. Now, that DT, IDT, you are thorough. So, you do not have to depend on the revision. Because you are writing group 2, am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So, you are writing group 2. Yeah. So, therefore, these two subjects, anyhow, you will be preparing. And revision videos, you do not have to bother about this. But we will give you the revision videos for this. And as there are many amendments for May 24 exam, we need to do the new recording for DTIDT because DTIDT, you buy the lectures, please. And so that it will be easy for you to watch IBS. That is one thing. But we will definitely assure that we will be providing you the revision lectures as and when we do the recording, we will upload that then. So, then we do not have to bother anything about group 2. Correct. When it comes to group 1, group 1, like how Chinmay sir said, so FR, SFM and LA, these three subjects, revision videos will be uploaded ASAP. Along with the revision, notes will be given to you. And either you watch revision notes first and then revision videos or revision videos first and then watch the revision notes or parallelly you do that. So that once you are able to understand that, then start doing the case study discussion. So start listening to the case study discussion. Correct, sir? Yeah. This is what yeah. uh, can I can perfect. put it in a crystal perfect. way. Perfect. So, so that, guys, if you are purchasing this paper 6 video lectures, and you are thinking that, okay, I will watch this and learn DTIDT, you are making a biggest blunder. You should not do that. So, how you can buy one lecture and complete all the subjects in that lecture itself. So, practically it is not going to work out that way. So, the assumption here is that you are having an idea of the subject, then only paper 6. Then here comes the next question, sir. Some of the students, I do not know who told them, but there is a misconception in many students. Like, uh, I will first give group 2 attempt. I am talking about new syllabus, those who completed intermediate, latest yeah. intermediate. So, they are telling like, I will write group 2 first, because group 2 has taxes. I will write group 2 first, and then I go for group 1 okay. in the next attempt. So, now, what is it we are going to tell to them, sir? Because this is a uh, good question. Many students have asked me, sir, I will go for group 2 first. Right. But they do not have any idea about FR and SFM, yes. any idea. So, just the intermediate knowledge. Now, can we suggest them to go for group 2? Uh, it, it is possible. I am not denying that it is impossible. But it would be slightly difficult because the level of expectation is different. Yes. So, with your knowledge on accounting standards and financial management, audit law of your intermediate syllabus, you will be able to apply with reasonable logic even these questions. But there is a chance that I would not recommend you to take. Correct. Because Perfect. only when you know it, you can write it So, I am on the same that. page with yes. you, sir. I am on, what about because you? Law, law, uh, anyway, you can watch the marathon video. But then FRS, AFM, I feel you require in-depth knowledge to at least be able to write a few questions. On sir, even SFM, sir, <laughs> sorry to say, <laughs> sir, inter-FM is no way connected no to final SFM, okay. sir. No, uh, they don't know what is portfolio management also. It is not, but uh, the reason why is questions, whatever I saw, it's more on application based. They are not asked on numerical based. Correct. So, you will be able to face it. But, but psychologically, the moment they see this uh, alpha, beta, uh, derivatives, they they so might not. So, what, guys, uh, what, 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 yeah, what would happen then is you will pass two paper, then it will become next attempt three group one plus one of plus one. <laughs> <laughs> so, that that we will not recommend. So, because see, we are concerned about your success rather than saleability of our lectures. Very good. Very good. We, we do not want you to fail and again buy our lectures. That is not the intention. If you really need that money, we will earn in different ways. So, please do not do that for the sake of selling the lectures. Maybe some other faculties might be doing this. So, we do not want to recommend. Please 
go for group 1 finish it finish it and then write the group 2 this is for the newly writing students so this is the suggestion perfect, perfect. we three together can give Understood. and uh, chinmay sir's like fr lectures and sfm lectures are also there you can see his demo videos you like it you subscribe to it you purchase it and then you can complete your group 1 and then come to group 2 boss that is only suggestible for you if you are taking a one year time and preparing parallel all the subjects okay no issue like say for example uh, may 24 fully their time is only in preparation mm -hmm. or november 24 mix and match article ship and preparation then you can take this chance Correct. because you will complete the lectures but you can write only one group but you have to complete the lectures can we put this way sir yeah. yes sir you yeah. have you don't have to write the exam but, but at you least prepare. you should prepare for fr sfm and then go for group two also it's okay but without having prior knowledge of fr and sfm so it's not advisable to write group two especially because of the ibs paper perfect sir yeah. yes and anyway we have it in the self-paced module so even this discussion will also help yes in the and one SCMP more and uh, law of self -paced online module paper one more good news is that for May 24, they don't have to write the self-paced self module yeah. before writing the exam. Right. Right after so, May 24, they can complete. After exam also, they can do self-paced because self-paced, there is no clarity yet. Correct. As to whether it is home-based or a center-based. Institute only doesn't know. Doesn't know. Okay. Yeah. Institute they only doesn't learning. know. <laughs> so, they are also learning. Maybe because of the compulsion from uh, Nirmala ma'am, maybe they would have added this self-paced right. module. Right, right. So, if so I the difference say, is, uh, if you go wrong, you have one attempt, but if they go wrong, then you have one more attempt. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, that's what. And uh, therefore, guys, as you are saved from writing this self-paced module for May 24, and you will be writing only after exam, yeah. but even nevertheless, you have to revise the law. Because we have seen all the case studies where they are touching upon the law portion. Maybe it's an intermediate law. Plus, revision of law will help you. Yes, sir. Because now, I mean, whatever questions I have seen, they are asking little tricky questions in law only. Okay. That is final law. Final but law. without intermediate knowledge, you can't write that. Correct. Because in one of the questions, they asked about dividend, if they are in inter, and suddenly they connected to CA final. Yeah. So, no, sir. What I, what I am asking is, like, uh, intermediate, I have studied. Plus the revision. Plus the revision. Perfect. 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 Enough? Yes. Okay. So, that's, that's the answers, guys. So, therefore, uh, hope all the answers for your queries are clarified and uh, now so i am moving on to chinmay sir because chinmay sir wanted to share with you as to a kind of google sheet that he has prepared so as to while reading the or learning the case studies what is that you need to do the approach to the subject etc and all so sir is going to share yes over yeah. to chinmay sir. so uh, we are going to share the google sheet with you but i'll give you the reason behind it and how you should be able to make use of it uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt before i mean yeah. he tells that i want to share one thing which i mean probably now you know everything and why you should follow his advice because sinman sir i have known him since almost 15 20 how many years yeah. 15, 15, 15 years. years plus now but the thing is he uh plans his entire thing really well and you can see the sheet that he has created even i was you know very impressed by the same it had made our life also easy so i just want to share with you that he is a multiple all india rank holder at all three levels so that means something right there's very very few people in the whole of the country to get all india rank at all three levels right so the thing is he always used to have that methodology of condensing everything and studying the gist the most important core aspects of each concept so this approach i would su suggest you blindly follow what he's trying to tell and of course, we'll all align to the same methodology anyway. So that is how it is. And even uh, Tarun sir is a—he doesn't tell it at all, but he's a, a rank holder in uh, CMA, All India Rank One, sir. Yes. Yes. All India Rank One. He'll never share that anywhere. So yes. So we have rank holders sitting here, guys. Uh, so approach definitely you need to follow their approach. It will really help. So what do you think, sir? So yeah, we are rank holders. But when you wrote the exam, yeah, this paper six was there, we don't know. So thankfully, we became faculties. So you also passed the exam before new new things comes. <laughs> so there's a saying that nobody plans to fail, but most people fail to plan itself. Uh, so you would have found that challenging on, of course, the subject, each level CA is challenging. Content is big. And how do you... Uh, control yourself on one day before exams. Right. That is where I have seen most students break down because the moment you see the volume of one day before exam, you lose the confidence. 
and then it's very difficult to gain it back. And now we are talking about all the subjects on one day before exam. That is again the challenge is more compounding in nature. So what I suggest is you should plan for what you should read a day before exam. You can't leave it for okay. Let me go with the flow on day before exam. That not happen. So I have uh, recommended this. You can also come up with your own formats, and if you come up with anything new, let us know. We can also share with the larger set. So this is what I have shared. Uh, so if you look at the rule sheet, it has case study on one case study one two three, and for each case study a question number. And against any question number, you can have a DT comment, IDT comment, FR comment, and SFM comment. We have written what we have for our reference. But what you want to do, or what I expect you to do, is like for example, you have come up with question on FR, telling that it is a problem related to, let's say, on liabilities and obligations. You read the question, put a comment about uh, contingent liabilities, focusing on. Uh, possible cases to be settled. You keep it very brief so that it should not be in detail. You can't write an answer here, but by reading that, you should be able to recollect whatever the question and whatever the concept. Both you should be able to recollect. So on one day before exam, especially for this paper, instead of reading all the case laws, whatever you have, because reading it takes so much of time, you can come to this comment section. If you read that comment, point one. The concept you can revise, and point two, you'll be able to recollect the case study also. So you understand the human brain is always uh, connected like that neural network. Uh, when you tell something, it always gets connected to something else. Like even now, I remember the cricket World Cup match between India Australia in 2003 because next day was my SSLC 10th standard exam. Yeah. Monday and Sunday was the exam uh, match. So when you connect these two things, you always remember. Similarly, when you read this comment, you'll be able to recollect the case study, but you cannot remember the entire case study. But by connecting the points like this, your revision can be more effective. So make use of this sheet uh, and uh, make sure as and when you write or read any case study, come and update it here so that uh, you also have a practice of writing as and when you read something yes. that makes you focus on. Uh, rather than diversing on yeah. my team. So to add it further, what I personally feel is that we will add few comments in this. We will share the sheet with you all and we will keep it like an open uh, Excel sheet. So we will not convert it into any PDF. Yes. So that if they want to add also some points, let them add. So we will make it into read only yeah. so that they can copy into their sheet and they can, they can edit, 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 edit however they, they can edit. Edit. But yeah. we will write our few points. Our points will be visible to you, yes. but your points will not be visible, visible to, to us. Yes. And you can uh, take it like a sheet. We will give it like a normal Excel sheet. And thereafter, any points that you need to write in this, you write. So as and when we complete the discussion, so we will share this Excel sheet with you. So you can also add few points. Maybe if you are following some book, you can give the reference. Yeah. So page number so on so of that book you can refer. So this sheet, one day before the exam, you revise. Plus and you can carry it to the exam hall. Correct. Maybe the same similar case study comes. So you will know which page you need to refer in the book, and you can just make it. So you make it like a uh, you know, index sheet. Correct. Index sheet. So that will definitely help you. So whatever case studies we are discussing, we will update all these case studies. Even as we have just started this as a you know brick model. So let's paste it to a greater extent by adding some more things also. Sure, sure. Like the gist, whatever to the extent possible, make it appealable. Yeah. Yes. So to the uh, students also. Done. Yes. And uh, the final. Uh, the query here uh, to Punarva sir is that, you know, like, uh, sir, why should we purchase this Google Drive lectures? Can't we do the self preparation on our own? So, because we are purchasing all the lectures and we are subscribing to all the lectures and uh, we really don't want to buy your lecture. But can we do self preparation and go for the exam? So for that, what is the support you will be giving? Okay. So self-preparation, of course, if you want to do self-preparation, we will definitely have revision books where we will have revision of each of the subjects. So if FR will be 20-25 sheets, I'm just saying 25-30 sheets, AFM 25-30 sheets and law DTIDT will be slightly more because you can't finish it in 25-30 sheets. 
auditing same and, and, and it changes also <laughs> changes, it keeps changing so you can purchase that book which we will be we are working on it we will yes. release it so that would be a good thing for you but i mean it's not that we are selling the product but guys it is too much to study and too much to uh, assimilate and then you know write in the examination so it's always better to have help of you know people who know the subject really well and who can interconnect right yes. so all of all the three of us are sitting here because we i mean we've been in the business for so many for 10 15 years the profession of teaching so it is of course we know what we are talking and that assimilation will be easier but nevertheless let us say sir okay i don't want to uh, do it i want i have limited time so you can purchase the revision material and go through that and solve some case studies on your own yeah. uh, and see what can be done. Because yes. uh, to be honest, in paper 6D, earlier when I was taking economic law, uh, many of the questions, they were, you know, taking it from the institute material, but many of it was new. So if there are in each question paper, maybe 20% was repeated, 20-30% remaining was new. Yes. So you need to uh, build the art of, you know, that assimilation and interconnection that can come, in my opinion, only through some help like yes. these classes. Otherwise, if you feel that, no, it's not possible, I'll do it on my own, it's up to you, sir. Anything yeah. that you wish to add? Sir? Yes, sir. So, what I personally feel is that uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm with you. Yeah. If you really want to know how interconnection helps, watch our Jugal Bandi video. Yes. So, because, say for example, you are reading something in indirect taxes related to liability to pay in special cases, like if a firm gets dissolved and there is a liability on the firm whether the partners are jointly and severally liable for the dues. As per GST, yes, partners are liable jointly and severally for the dues. Now, you will get a question, what about income tax? Correct. What about income tax? This, we will do the connection here. Correct. So, therefore, I will be asking Punarva sir as to in the DT, what will be the impact. Correct. So, when we interconnect these concepts, so when you read it, you have to take a lot of time searching. So, same thing like uh, when I am talking something about uh, security lending scheme under SEBI because we have a GST implication on security lending. So, now in security lending, is it practically possible? So, what will be the lending charges, how it works? So, maybe I can ask Chinmay sir. So, immediately he will tell. Otherwise, you need to search for that particular aspect. So, this interconnection is the art here and that's why you know we ask the students to reduce their effort in you know doing the research and learning so you can come to us so that is one reason second reason is that you can also refer to those 40 case studies whatever we have compiled yeah. but those case studies were answered as per the provisions at that time right. so today what is the provision you don't know so then you have to again refer to you know what is the impact on that etc and all so that's the reason why i personally feel if you can afford, see again, end of the day, it is about the affordability. And if you can afford, so definitely you should go for it. If not, also like what Punarvas sir said, you can definitely buy the revision book. And maybe like uh, one month before the exams, we can also give you some kind of guidance. Yeah. What is it we can do like RTP questions whenever it comes, we will definitely help you out. So for guidance, we are always there. So whether you are purchasing our classes or not, so, you can look up to us. So, whenever you need some guidance. Yeah. So, just put it a little more bluntly. If a client asks me, why should I hire you for accounting of my transactions? I can learn accounts and I can pass entries by myself. You can always say, you can do it, but I'm the professional here. Correct. So, you can always do it, but just to save time, when somebody is available and they put the effort, make use of it is what I would recommend. Yes. So, that's it guys. Hope all your queries are resolved in this introduction video. And uh, finally, I'm again telling you, so we are working on the book. So as I already told you, two books we will be providing. One is a revision book that is compilation of revision of all subjects. We are really working on it. And uh, second thing is about uh, the case study book. So case study book also because ICI, we want to incorporate all ICI case studies first and then uh, give the other case studies because primarily whatever is new syllabus case studies that we need to focus on. Sure. So due to that reason, so you start doing the revision videos first for the three subjects, FR, SFM and law. Yeah. And uh, for the revision videos, we will also share the revision notes in the encrypted PDF that will be available with you. You can watch that videos. And thereafter, so this case study discussion also, you start watching it. Meanwhile, you will be receiving, so the revision book as well as the case study book, but I am not taking much time. So, January mid, by January mid, whether I say releases or not releases it, 
So whatever case studies that we have compilation and the summary book we can give. So sure. what is that? Yeah, sir? Yeah, sir. Definitely. We can, we can do, do that. Yeah. So yes, guys. So with this, you know, with a conclusion remarks from Punarvas sir. So I'm giving away to uh, Punarvas sir. Yes, sir. Few notes yeah. we can conclude. Yeah, I think that is we have covered all all the areas that we had to cover. How to uh, so, you know, uh, start watching our classes and all the important things we have discussed already. So, I think without further ado, I think we can directly go ahead with the uh, case study. So, all the very best guys. So, please, uh, you know, uh, support us as well because you've been supporting all this while. This is the first time ever in India, to be very honest with you, that somebody has been doing like this because I was just talking to sir, how is it possible? So, he was telling that there is actually no ego between all of us. We are all like friends and we are here to learn from each other. So, if that mindset is there, then of course, we can spread our knowledge and we can learn from everybody. So, uh, it's it's. Uh, uh, I wish you the best of luck and let's uh, rock this paper. I know this is going to go a long way. So, thank you so much for the opportunity, Karun sir and Chinmay sir, to be associated with you guys. So, I think we are going to have fun. So, mutual sir. Yeah. Mutual. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.